flavor. And you know what I'm tasting, Bobby? Okra? No. No, I taste victory. And I look around and I think we got a spicy tea. Blacks and whites. Blacks and Mexicans. Oh, hell, there's a lot of blacks. So a clan of the typical usual suspects on the internet got mad at my Dylan Edwards and Kansas State videos so they went on the lies about how we call Dylan Edwards and Uncle Tom when Uncle Tom wasn't the sellout it was Sambo but this is what these group of people do they lie they get mad they lose their minds and they use the race card like no other like watch this right here it says we're calling you an idiot because blah 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 you called him Uncle Tom you can't find one video where I called Dylan that I called Dylan a coward and you racist on you lying ass bitch let's be real calling out facts isn't playing the race card Deion Sanders has brought excitement opportunity and pride not just to Colorado but to players like Dylan Edwards giving them a platform they've earned through talent and hard work race is a factor in criticism or coverage whether suitable or blatant it deserves to be acknowledged if that makes you uncomfortable maybe it's time to reflect on why you feel that way we're here to talk about football and progress not dodge the truth don't mislabel real issues just because you don't like the face who talks about it I mean, it's just minstrels after minstrels. Check this guy, Andre Napier, out. Look, I'm different than him. Please accept me. I'm not like this other guy, bless one. I mean, these group of Mayo people, not all of them, but they live on the internet. They hide their face. They have nothing but racial tendencies of attacks. My GED is being called into question now as if I have a GED, but I'm black. I guess we have it. They might as well just talk about the fried chicken and watermelon at this point. It's like I like getting them mad because the truth comes out. Remember, I don't know these people. I talked about Dylan Edwards, but they attack anything black and then say you're using a race card. If it's not the race card, then why all these complaints and attacks about racial issues? You know, my dreads, my English language, my GED, what else? My criminal record, right? My fatherless world I grew up in, right? I don't have a dad now and I'm called Pookie. Jesus Christ, these people are typical. And we were told these group of people are intelligent beings. <laughs> you think anything, son, son, you think anything's changed? Frederick, please. Because the war's over? Them Union boys are going to be home soon enough, but I'll still be right here. And plenty of men just like me. We will redeem this country and put you people back where you belong. It's just a natural law. I will never see a nigga be my equal. I don't have no interest in being your equal, Frederick. <laughs> so I make a video about Dylan Edwards, which was just about us, the Colorado fan groups, supporters of the movement of what's going on with coach prime just a video talking about the things we know already to people who said dylan didn't say anything bad about colorado which we've been debunked that then some little kansas state turd fan groups on twitter started uh i guess retweeting my videos or whatever and by the way thank you very much i mean that 100 percent. i'm shadow man so I'll take all that free support. Can you believe it? In 2024, the Mayo men are working for me. Shout out to my Mayo family and my Negrumps family. You know we ain't talking to y'all. Let's keep moving forward. So these little turds from Kansas State have this whole new narrative going on on the internet. They said we called Chris Kyman a slave master. What? I guess some of these internet turds who become the professional victims in 2024... They take what you say and turn it around to fit their weird old narratives. First of all, 
I know you're not from our type of neighborhood. You look down on us, which we're going to get to that a little bit later. Thus, the reason you've seen the videos I post up <laughs> in the beginning of this video. So I said that Dylan Edwards is a Kansas State do boy. We all get to see that. I broke it down consistently. The coach doesn't utilize Dylan Edwards the way that they could because they got guys like DJ Giddens there. And Chris Kyman doesn't even believe in Dylan Edwards like that. Over the all six games, I showed nothing but facts. We'll get into that a little bit later. We, we keep showing facts about that. They took what I said about him being a do boy when I said, go do this for me. Go do that. They don't understand urban terminology, urban communications. These weird old race groups, we'll get into that later, specifically these weird Kansas State supporters. Not all, but most of them, majority. They took it and said I called Chris Kyman a slave master. They skipped everything the video talked about to twist and turn it because when you are that hot fire type of individual and you make the world pay attention to what you got to say, they don't like it. So what they did was make a false narrative. And you know me, I'm, I, I'm not a professional victim that they claiming I am. I said nothing about race in that video about Dylan Edwards. Do we get into race? Yeah, if the sky is blue, it's true. Don't get mad. Notice the only group of people who get mad when you call out the truth are actual races. Let me show you how they're actual races. Remember, I'm trolling them because they live in 1922. So they say stereotypical things to you. Like, I guess that's supposed to make our feeling hurt. One of the little frail boys said, do you show me a copy of your GED? <laughs> Who still use these old outdated jokes? Racist. But anyways, we're not going to get into that. I'm not. Y'all know I want white people to be like that. And I want black people to be who we truly could be. Meaning that I love this collective universe, uh, universe we live in, the reality we live in. I just live in a real universe. I'm conservative. You all know who I vote for. But these idiots, they live on race only. They, the number one group of people who cry about the race card are the people using the race card. I've noticed that like you don't see me with any BLM posters. You don't see me out here. Let's protest. But they just see a black dude with dreads. And here's the stereotypical things. He's, they show pictures of you're you're a weed man, which is not really false. But you get what I'm trying to tell you. They get into the which gangs you're in. So I'm trolling them. I'm like, I'm in eight different gangs. Why, why cry over that? I told the dude to bring his wife to speak to me. I'm not about to get in no intellectual conversations with a group of people who think I deem them intelligent because they're white. They live in a fantasy world because I might speak in a Negro dialect. They think for some reason their brain capacity surpasses mine. This is the, those group of people. Look at the crib I live in and look where they live at. We don't know you Kansas State turds. You guys go in hiding like most people on Twitter. You... You are little cowards, just like Dylan Edwards. You, you, you thought I wasn't going to fry you? You're a frail, weak man. You hide your face on the internet. Majority of the comment sections on the internet was created for nameless, faceless cowards to talk their hot lava and run away. Listen, I don't know you Kansas State turds. You went to find me. You're writing a hundred different tweets to me. I entertained it for a little bit, but you bore me. I felt like it looks like I'm tweeting you turds a lot, but the truth is I had a lot to say and I don't feel like writing a hundred tweets. Let's make a video and give you the motion you seek. First of all, you changed everything I said about Dylan Edwards as that as to the point that I'm the professional victim. In reality, you're the victim here. You couldn't stand the points I made about your weak university, overrated quarterback Avery Johnson. Yeah, let's take it there. Avery Johnson, who keeps getting glorified by the weak media for only one reason, Trevor Lawrence 2.0. But at least Trevor Lawrence can throw the accurate passes. Let's get into that. Avery Johnson, scrub quarterbacks. Who, oh, he made Will Howard leave. Where Will Howard is overrated as well. So let's not get over high. <laughs> overrated quarterbacks. Ark Manning is better than two of those bums. Can we just say that? Ark Manning is way better than, than an Avery Johnson. He's not even in the same league with a Shador. For Pop Feinbaum to say he has a higher ceiling is straight disrespectful. But let's fast forward. Avery Johnson takes a picture during the start of the third quarter. He's writing autographs. 
the media, that's what the video really gets into. The media didn't say anything. In fact, the announcers was glazing this dude so hard. You thought they were making zesty porn on Sundays, bro. That's how wild it was. Like, if Shador took a picture during the game, same of these Kansas State turds who's, give me a copy of your GD. Like, what's next? Fried chicken and watermelon? My EBT card? Like, Jesus Christ. You're po I was told when I was younger, your group is supposed to be the most intelligent on earth. All it is is combative, loudmouth crybabies who throw re <laughs> regurgitated, outdated, stereotypical crap, bro. Like, what else, bro? So I told the dude I was arrested for 230 times. <laughs> These people always call us the professional victims while they're bitching and crying, bro. It's, you can't make this up, bro. Who came looking for who? Who came looking for who? You, you, you weirdos go out your way to look for any video that's showing support to Colorado or Dion. You, here come you grand wizards want to be pretending it's some real war because I, and I told my supporters that. This is deeper than football. It's bigger than football. These turds are worse than, uh, uh, I, I can't say that because of the algorithm, what I was about to say. I know I'm an honest person, but some things you can't just say for the media. But they're basically worse than some of the most nightmares that are out here in these streets, bro. They literally live on a race-baiting group type of format. And their followers are other little cowards who in real life would never even dare to say these things to your face. I'm not a violent person. I'm just a military man. Born and raised in a, a, a military lifestyle. So I, I'm used to speaking to men as men. These little turds on the internet, they hide behind their little weird profiles, weird supporters. And they feel like, we got him now. Yeah, yeah, show me a picture of your GD. No, we're laughing at you, idiot. Because we're like, like what? Like, shut the fuck up, man. Get out my face, man. Leave me alone, bro. <laughs> Attack of the nerds, bro. But I'm a nerd myself, man. I'm like the black Jerry Seinfeld, but I don't feel like showing that side of myself to prove some type of acceptance from a lower vessel. Like, these people are lower than me. Bring your wife to talk to me, bro. I'm one of them, bro. I'm not about to sh talk to you in a form of communication. You think English language, that's what makes and deems a person as intelligent, bro. This is no disrespect to nobody. The Eng English language is one, one of the most simplex things one could learn. Why do you think someone who's not even from America... We'll be right back after this quick commercial break. Hit that like button, like, share, and subscribe to the I Smoke Hip Hop Live platform. Salute. A lot of people were very surprised to hear that we was doing a special football show. But we've been fans of football for many years. I mean, what other game boasts such great names like Dick Butkus? <laughs> or my favorite, Bob Greasy. <laughs> now, isn't he a tight end? He was. <laughs> People were very surprised to hear that we was doing a special football show. But we've been fans of football for many years. I mean, what other game boasts such great names like Dick Butkus? <laughs> or my favorite, Bob Greasy. <laughs> now, isn't he a tight end? He was. <laughs> It's one, one of the most simplex things one could learn. Why do you think someone who's not even from America never even spoke in English? They learned this weak language within two months. I know most of my family learned this language in two months. I was born here, but there's a lot of people you're born with in, in Florida who have cultural, you know, multicultural backgrounds or whatever. And it's like they learned this language in two. Like, you, how, how about you go learn all the language I learned? I speak five. So when you see me speak in a way that you, you're calling ghetto or whatever, no, you don't understand it, but you're supposed to be so smart. Communication is just a form of communication, that's it. Only one group of people on earth who use the fact that, speak English, like, oh my God, you just hurt me. <laughs> it's like all of them, they, they got the same playbook, but we're the professional victims. 
They have this. If it, if it's not a race joke, they're gonna make. It's gonna be another race joke. <laughs> Don't let that go over your head. And it's like, damn, look at this turd, bro. Of course, part of me would like to smack one of them, but the real professional side or the grown up side is just no. You just trolled them, bro. You don't lose your anger or something like that towards this type of dude. Probably pisses and shit in his pants or piss in his pants if he's seen you in real life. These guys live on Twitter, man. Salute to Elon Musk. But we all know the internet was invented for this group of people, bro. This group of people, behavior patterns, it's the same thing. I told you, it's 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 in the blood. It's deeper than full. There are great many people on this earth. There's great white people. There's great black people, Hispanics, Asians. Y'all all see my friends, the moderators on this platform of all groups of people. I just speak the truth. If it's blue, it's true. Notice I didn't make it a race issue with that Dylan uh, Edward video they're posting around, but notice who made it a race issue. So I'm going to troll you. If you try to make it a race issue, I'm going to let then let's talk about this race issue. Why are you so concerned with Colorado all of a sudden? Why does Deion Sanders upset most of you turds? You get all you you guys have created these weird groups that only talks about Colorado. You've been calling them trash since last year and say they're garbage. I've never seen a world pay attention to a supposed team as garbage. We had everything up against us and we still beat you guys in every way. You won the game, but we won the war in every way. You embarrass yourself as a group. Fake injuries, really? We just had Nick Saban calling out you weak turds who keep pretending you're injured to stop people's offensive momentum. You know Shador is a sniper out there. He dissects your weak little defense. He was catching up. So what you do? I've never... The whole game you guys were pretending to be injured, but four plays in a row, four players go down. Like, come on, man. Embarrassment. You can't even play a team. Mano y mano. And we were limited. We still didn't make an excuse. Little turds are sending me pictures of Shiloh getting shook by DJ Giddens when I respect DJ Giddens. I'm the one who's been championing DJ Giddens as a mistake for Dylan Edwards to go there. You seen it? Dylan Edwards barely could make the cut. He averages three to four carries a game. Oops, my bad. I guess for Colorado, the coach gave him an extra gift. Chris Kyman gave him an extra carry. He had seven carries. <laughs> He went from getting all them carries at Colorado to barely even being relevant, bro. All the touchdowns he gets are either in garbage times or when they were going to lose the teams like Tulane. you seen the game. you seen how Tulane played a way better game. Tulane lost the game just like us. Kansas State doesn't really beat teams, but since they beat us, I can't make no excuse for it. Salute to Kansas State. We lost uh, not fair and square. You got referees blowing calls all the way, but... You know, you can't let the refs decide the game. So I put that on Colorado. He showed me a picture of Shiloh as if I didn't make a video saying Shiloh should have not started against Kansas State. These turds think because Shiloh is black, I'm supposed to, you, you know what I mean? That's how their mindset is. Like, we don't critique our guys. I always critique our guys. Why not? Why not critique them? And they always come with the zesty comments, bro. Like these dudes, no way they have women around them. No wonder a lot of them were Geppettos. You got to watch your kids around these Twitter grand wizard characters on the internet, bro. It's like, how did they take my video and make it to what it's making now? And not only that, how did they have all these obscene, zesty, sexual gest gestures? Man-on-man -man activities, if you know what I mean. We can't say it because the algorithm. But men-on-men -men activities. It's like, I like women. I'm heterosexual. Well, why did the comment have to even turn from a regular sports conversation into you liking men? It's just weird the way they move. That's why you got to watch your kids around them, all of them, bro. I think this video was easier uh, um, to be made than going back and forth with these turd groups. I hope they keep retweeting my video. I hope they share it everywhere because I needed a boost. I've been on YouTube on multiple platforms for a minute. I've never accounted a group like this. I mean, I know they exist on the internet, but I never had to really see it for myself. But I want to tell them, thank you for proving me right. And they, they lie out the ass, bro. They literally, they said, you called Dylan Edwards or Uncle Tom. What? I don't even use that word. Uncle Tom was the hero, dumbass. You mean Sambo? These these little 
weak. Not all, but some of these Mayo people are disturbing, bro. And I'm the victim, bro. They literally have a whole backbone. You call Dylan Edwards an uncle Tom. Like, what? You can't beat a group like that. You got to step over them like the little dogs they are. These frail creatures are the most dangerous thing you'll ever encounter in the world. Like I've always told you guys, anybody who says he uses the race card. I'm telling you, the only group of people who even speaks like that are the most racist people on earth. I don't even cry about race like that. But if we're talking about Colorado football, I have to talk about the elephant in the room. Why are people so enthralled and obsessed with Colorado football? So you're not going to speak on the race aspect of it. People like Sean Keeler, we're supposed to pretend there are white colleagues of Sean Keeler who called him out. Uh, I forgot how to say shout out to the YouTube channel, Big Snacks, who had the receipt of my one fellow brother who's white. But that's not the case. You know, he's a good dude. And he talked about it. He's like, how can professionals respect Sean Keeler? Some of his questioning and motives is like there is alternative motives behind what he's asking and doing. Much like this Kansas State group. They can't, look, they can't just, I was loving the banter at first, but their group is so weak. They can't just stick to back and forth banter about football only. They can't get past my black skin, my hair, my vernacular. It's like, it's a movie script. Black people are lower than them. So they speak in a way like, how dare you think you're so up above us? How dare you? speak to us you're a negro <laughs> you're from the negrums nation we're from the mayo nations how dare you the audacity of this one look at him where is your ged like literally bro i know all their uh moves they're gonna make it's not even a game of chess or checkers it's just you're looking at the belly of the beast within itself this group of people it has been a nightmare, bro. And it's not white people, black people, Asian. I'm talking about the groups who exist on the internet. That's who I'm talking about and referring to. <laughs> oh, you're, you're using a race card. Shut up. You're a professional victim, nigga. Like, you just, oh, you're using a race card. I, I can hear the same voice they all make. I mean, they hide their face, but you can pretty much assume how the voice sounds like. You're using a race card, man. Come on, man. You're using a race card, man. Man, man, fuck Dylan Edwards and, and the hell with Kansas State supporters, man. All of y'all some turds. All of y'all are the weakest and the lowest groups of people I've seen. And straight like that, man. If you don't like it, cry about it. I'm not going to respond to y'all no more, man. I shouldn't even make this video, but I was entertained for a little bit. Just the flat out lies you said. The watermelon and chicken sh shenanigans you brought up. The GEDs. Like, Jesus Christ, man. What's next? I'm not going to say it. I was about to say something, but it's too easy, man. Y'all might as well just write the usual suspects like y'all write on every video. Hey, I know you type of people, man. I know you better than you know yourself, man. Nice try, man. I should flex my family life, but you're you're under me, though. You know what I mean? Why even do that part? Look, man, love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed. Peace. Uh, I see the jealousy and hate.